Hi, my name is Ashley Biddle. This is my video uh, tour of my class for the Excellence in Online Teaching Award for spring 2021. I'm gonna be sharing with you my HDFS Human Development 230 course from the fall. So let's just dive right in. So the first um, DE guideline is 6.1, assessments measure course and module learning objectives. So there's four learning object, course learning objectives in this course. Two of them have to do with theories of human development. And so that's what I'm gonna focus on for this video. So two of them focus on theories. That's usually a pretty tough topic for students and a lot of classes put it at the beginning. And I found that my students weren't really being successful at the beginning. So I moved them to module two, which was easy when I made my own OER for this course. So now they're in module two. So I'll show you now they're in module two here. Um, there's a lot of them. They're confusing. So I've, in, I've made a lot of different innovative um, activities for students to do. So I'm going to share those. So the first one is Baby's Bingo. So this is they're watching a documentary on babies around the world and they do this bingo card. So they make a copy of this bingo card and then they fill this out and the boxes are strategic so that you never can skip a theory. You never can skip theories um, completely if you wanna get bingo in here. So there's Piaget, there's different parts of Piaget substages, observational learning, Erickson's trust versus mistrust. So that's a way to apply the theory that way. There's also the alternative. So they're able to choose whether they do the baby's bingo or the Piagetian toys. And that's where they review a toy based on what substage of Piaget's first sensory motor stage they would do. And so they um, review the toy. I go over, I have a mini lecture going over just the part that they need for this, this project. And then they record their uh, review on Flipgrid. Let's move on to 6.2, which is provide regular and appropriate assessments. So in my course, I have several levels of assessments. The first one being reading quizzes that they can take unlimited times, they're pretty low stakes because they get feedback on what they got wrong and then they can take it unlimited times just to make sure we're moving along and doing the reading and understanding that baseline. Then we move up to forums where they engage in one particular topic more. So I'll share with you form four, which is about implicit bias. So in this one, they first take an implicit associations test on their own, which is a verified social psychology um, method. Then they learn about the science behind the IAT. So they watch some short videos about the science behind the IAT. And then they choose a documentary to watch about bias. And I get access this through Canopy. So they're either about women, Arabs, Asian men, um, Asian and Asian American women, um, or black women. And so then they're asked to choose one of the IATs to do that, to do that about that, to find out about their own um, implicit bias that might be there. Uh, then they're gonna synthesize the information and discuss with their classmates. So they are asked about what's, exciting, what's um, interesting and then relate the two the implicit associations test and the documentary and the course material on social cognition. So this is about how kids learn to think about um, categories in, in our social world, such as race and gender. The last final project is the most innovative of, of everything I've probably done. Um, it's this collaborative photo voice project and it's, it's several layer, letter, layers up the Bloom's taxonomy. So it's way up there at the top with this create. It's multi-step. Um, they voted on a theme. So they generated the themes and then they voted on a theme. So this particular semester they voted to do human development as a social process. They really wanted to focus on the social side. Um, they did that. That was a early on kind of introduction to it. I'm midway through the semester. Then they did brainstorming about what kind of pictures and I gave feedback at that point. Um, then they take and post the pictures on a Padlet. So there's a column for everyone and I've tried to hide their pictures just in case. Uh, these pictures are mine and you have permission to use it. Um, so I also participate in this part. Then they post five pictures, everything from grandpa's gravestone, which relates to our topics of death to 
a local business eatery relating to our what we talk about how the community affects development um, and then they are supposed to um, comment and vote on each other's photos give each other feedback sometimes it was helpful because sometimes people would post a picture and the class would love that one but they that hadn't been their first choice um, then they choose one picture to include in the project and submit a narrative and then I put together this um, shared document where it has their pictures and their narratives. And I have permission from everyone in this narrative to, to use it. Um, and then the last step is they share it with somebody else and write a reflection on that. All right. So the next one is provide clear assessment criteria for assignments at 6.3. Um, as you'll see in all my assignments, I have a rubric and that's that's what I use. Um, it's pretty detailed, low, medium and high, and I grade based on those categories and that's how their grade is, um, is reported to them too, based on those categories. The fourth one is provide assessment first, provide opportunities for self-assessment. Um, whenever they create something, I also ask them to reflect on it when they turn it in. And also in the mid-semester survey check-in, um, there's this place about a goal for their next eight weeks. Um, how do they think they've been doing um, about current status, that kind of thing. Six point five is set up the online grade book. So that is set up, and I've taken advantage of the lovely a way to break it down into categories. So um, they're all categories. There's extra credit, which is integrated within the, we're using the comments tool with the reading. Um, the final project, all the different parts, forums. I utilize the drop one lowest. They seem to like that. Um, so that's the gradebook. It's updated every couple of days. Then 6.6 .6 is provide at least one opportunity for descriptive feedback on all aspects of the course. And so that's the course eval at the end through eCafe and this mid-semester check-in. All right, thanks so much.